Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I will be showing you how to pixelate your drawings or layers of your drawing in Abyss Paint X. This is specifically on Android and some features may be laid out differently, might look a little bit different if you are on an iOS system. So do take that into consideration. Now, firstly, you're going to want to go into your menu and everything. Unfortunately, the only way to do this is to specific layers. You cannot do it to the whole canvas at once, although you can apply the effect to several different layers, or you could simply merge the layers together. As you can see, this one here has already been pixelated, so I'll work with the one underneath it. This one right here. So firstly, select that layer. And then you're going to want to go into the filter tool. And then you're going to want to go across to pixelate. It's pretty straightforward from here. There are a few different options. Although you can also do mosaic in the blur section, I personally prefer the pixelated options. There are a few different ways to pixelate this. The best one, in my opinion, being the square pixelate. I'm going to click on these to show you some examples. Here is the crystallized version, the hexagonal version, the square version, and the triangle version. And that's it for the main ones. There are a couple others here which I'll go through quickly, such as pointillize, dots, and square dots. So I'll be using square pixelate since it's the most basic pixelating one. Here there are two options, little bars that you can adjust. These are in most of the pixelated areas. There is radius, which is essentially how large your pixels are going to be. The more upwards you put it, the less distinct the shape is going to be, and the more pixelated it will be. The more you put it down, the less pixelated it is, and the more distinct the original shape is. I like to keep it somewhere around 20 pixels since I think you can still see the shape pretty well, but it's very obviously pixelated. You can also change the angle of your pixels right here on the angle section. I personally like to just keep it at zero, but you can change it if you want to. When you're done with that, you can just press the little green tick by here, and it will then be saved as a pixelated layer. So now both layers are pixelated, and what you can do from here is you can either pixelate all the layers that you want to be pixelated separately, or a different way to do this would be to merge several layers together and then to pixelate that one. It also looks a little bit different for smaller lines, so I'm going to do some lines that vary in shape and a couple different brushes, and then we can test those with the pixels. So here I've gathered a couple different things. I have this one watercolour brush here, which is more of a blurred out brush so you can see the difference, and a pointillism brush. Now let's use the filter on this section here. We'll go into square pixelate again. As you can see right here, it is much harder to see the shapes when it is pixelated heavily and the lines are small. So here you can tone the radius down a little bit or even just go up pixel by pixel by pressing the plus and you can see how it changes slowly with each press. I think that it is really interesting how specifically the more blurred out airbrushy areas are. I think it looks really, really pretty. Then again, when you're done with that, you can just press your tick and you are done. There are a lot of different effects that you can make with this filter, obviously, and I think they're all pretty nice. It's also kind of fun to have them layered on top of each other. It kind of strains your eyes at this one because I didn't set it out to be like that, but it is still an interesting effect. I do like this filter overall, and I think it's very fun for background specifically, or if you're trying to just turn your normal art into more pixelated art, since that is a pretty fun and stylized way to make things. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and if you did, maybe consider supporting. Bye!